When it comes to editing the scale, position, and rotation of a video or image inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we typically use the Motion tab. But at the bottom of the Motion tab, we can see Anchor Point. What is Anchor Point, and why should we be using the Anchor Point with our animation? Let me explain. So when we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and we want to change the scale of a clip, typically if we decrease the scale, the corners of the video are going to shrink towards the center of the frame. So if we decrease the scale down to 50%, you can see all of the corners are heading towards the center points. And if I pull this all the way down to zero, then it means the clip disappears and shrinks into the center of the screen. And that is because of the anchor points. Now, if we go down to anchor point and we select anchor points, you can see we've got this circle in the middle of the frame. And this is the anchor point. The anchor point is basically the point at which the object is going to animate from. So if I decrease the scale with the anchor point in the middle, it basically means the video is going to shrink towards the middle. But if I move the anchor point, so we'll pull this over to the right and we'll put this to the far end. So we'll put this on the right of the frame and then we pull the position over to compensate for that. If we decrease the scale now, the video will shrink towards the right side of the frame. Now, the same thing applies for if we put the anchor point on the very left. So we'll move the anchor point over to the left side of the video and we'll pull the position over to compensate for that. Now, when we decrease the scale, the video will shrink onto the left side. And the same thing happens for rotation. So if we move the position of this clip into the middle, you can see the anchor point is still sitting on the left of the frame. So when we come to rotate this video, you can see that the video rotates around the anchor point and therefore the whole video is moving around this one point. Now, typically when the anchor point is in the middle of the frame, this is what the rotation looks like. So the whole video rotates around the center point, but moving that anchor point towards one of the corners or placing it somewhere random it basically means that the video is now going to rotate around that new anchor point. So the anchor point in short is basically a point on your video animation where your video is going to animate around. So basically the anchor point is an anchor. You're dropping the anchor point in a specific place and the video is going to modify around that one point. Now, the reason why we have the anchor point is because it enables us to create different types of animation. So let's say we wanted to do a text animation. So we'll go new legacy title. We'll create some text. We'll center that up. And then we'll change the anchor point of that text so that it now sits on the right side of the text. So we'll pull that over there, reframe the text up. Now, when we want to make a transition, we can rotate this direction create a new keyframe, move over half a second, move the rotation up and then move over another half second. I pull that back down to around zero. And it basically means that the characteristics of that animation has now changed. So this is what this animation looks like with the anchor point on the right of the text. Now, if I was to move the anchor point back to the center, so I move the anchor point to the very center of the text, pull that back to the middle, this is how different that animation would look. And there you go, that is the anchor point. Now the anchor point is really useful when it comes to creating transitions or any sort of animation in Premiere and Adobe After Effects. The anchor point is in both pieces of software. So understanding the anchor point and knowing how to use it will really help your animating in the future in all of your Premiere and After Effects projects. So there you go. I really hope this helped and if it did then please do let me know in that comment section below and I will see you on the next video. See you there.